Well, once we, once we had bought the first antiques, we developed a great enthusiasm, and we would go back to Ascona every year, looking to see what we could find that time. The following year, we visited Dr. Rosenbaum, and on the fireplace in back of his head, there was an Egyptian head, this head. And we were just taken with it. We found it was so beautiful that we couldn't stop thinking about it, but we knew it was out of our range. We ended up looking through the whole building and then came down to tell Dr. Rosenbaum what we might have found. And we said, but we can't get that out of our head. And we know we can't afford it. He ultimately said, think about it over the weekend. I'll think about it. We'll come back. We'll talk on Monday, which we did. But in fact, the whole weekend, we thought only about that piece. <clears throat> he said, you know, I've thought about it too. If you have something beautiful in the house, it will affect your two-year-old daughter. So if there's any way you can buy it, you should buy it. I said, listen, I'm a young lawyer. I don't have the money. I can't buy it. It's an expensive piece. He said, how much can you send every month if you pay for it over time? Well, again, I didn't know what to say, but I said, I don't know, $50. He said, okay, but every month you send me a check for $50 till it's paid for and you take the piece with you. And therefore, it's there. Well, I think in fact, I think in fact, works of art and things of real beauty do have an impact on the atmosphere and the people who live near them. And of course, our house <laughs> looks a little bit like this <laughs> exhibit. Uh, so we feel that way very, very strongly. <laughs>